What's up my monsters? I am Sam, Sam I am, and I'm a bit out of it because I was just fucking interrupted. Apparently my parents have to interrupt me for every little detail. So it's just, you know, it makes me wonder how they're gonna live on their own without me. Because it depend on me to help them with stuff. And it's just like, I don't mind helping, I do it. Because I'm their son, and they're my parent. You know, but at the same time it's just like, you need to learn how to pretty much live on your own, because honestly, if you guys don't learn, what about now you guys will die. It seems that way. Anyway, welcome to video number two. Two. And this one is a painful memory because I was in the hospital. So this one takes back four to three years ago, and it was on a Saturday night. Um... Right around midnight, I want to say, around midnight, I woke up and I felt uncomfortably pain. Not pain enough that you feel when you, like, scrape your knee, get a cut on your finger, or, you know, somebody punches you. No, this is felt uncomfortable pain, interior, and it made me want to throw up. So I'm just like, oh, God. Just, you know, it will go away. Let me try to go back to sleep. It didn't go away. So I'm just like, oh, fine. I'll throw up. Because one of the things I hate doing when I'm sick or getting sick, I hate coughing and I hate puking. Especially puking. It's gross. And everyone can agree with me on this, obviously. But anyway, I tried puking. Nothing was coming out. Nothing. I was, like, empty. So I'm just like, oh, God. So, my dad being my dad, went to the mess and looked up, oh, well, actually found a pill about this size, just about this size, and it dissolves in warm water, and it looks like soda water, sparkling water in a cup. Yeah. So, I drank that. Didn't even help. I tried falling asleep. Nothing was happening. It got to a point where my dad was like, okay, this is weird. We're going to take you to the hospital. By the time, I mean, like, it was un, it was annoying and, and uncomfortable that I'm just like, I was a baby, basically. I was whining, you know, I was just like, oh my God, I can't. I can't. I can't. Everything, I move, it hurts inside. Oh, my God. I'm sorry that sounds weird, but it kind of felt like I was pregnant. I wouldn't know. But, you know, it was uncomfortable. It drove me insane. We got to the hospital. I was holding my stomach. I mean, like, hugging my stomach. We got to the doctor. They, you know, they took tests. They did a, um, x-ray on me. And my appendices. The, my appendices was full of poop. And that sounds weird, but... That's what they said. So basically, they told me, oh, it's just an organ that the human body grows that we don't even use anymore. And I'm just like, I never heard of the appendices. Says, C's? Appendices? That was a weird name. <coughs> anyway. You know, I got, I got to the And they tell me I'm, and they tell her that she's dying. I'm living. What? <sighs> anyway, that's in a book somewhere that I'm writing. Anyway, basically they gave me a hospital room, all this stuff, and right around I don't even know what time it was. They took me down to the medication room, and they were going to do surgery. And I still have the three scars, basically. So they told me, we're gonna, if you have any hair down there, we'll shave it off. And I'm just like, oh, okay. You know, they went through their protocol, made it completely awkward. <laughs> if you have any hair down there, we'll shave it. I'm just like, okay, do what you gotta do, just make this stop. So, they hook up, well, they drop some kind of liquid inside the bag, and I was knocked out within, like, three minutes. 
I fell asleep. Going to sleep. Gone. <laughs> I mean, like, they knocked me out so good. Well, anyway, what they did was they opened a hole with it. Basically, it was a tube and they vacuumed it out. Obviously, they had. I don't know how they did it. It was weird because I have three holes. I had like three surgical holes in my body. And when I woke up, I'm just like, what did they do to me? I feel worse than I ever felt in my whole entire life. It was, un I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I'm just like, the only thing, the only part of me that I can move was my neck and my head. That's it. I was like, like I can't move anything else. I was like, you move my head more in my body. The, everything down my neck just hurts. And I'm just like, what did they do to me? I literally started crying. I'm just like, what did they do to me? <laughs> I felt like I was in a movie, honestly. I honestly felt like I was in a movie saying, what did they do to me? Why me? Why? <laughs> Why me? Why? Ugh. Oh god, like the pain was so horrible. That was, and that was my first time being through a surgical surgery, basically. Well, I don't think it was the first time. Because that's a story time for another day. <laughs> yeah, this one's a lot shorter than the first one because I didn't have to explain a lot. But yeah, that was my first, well, probably my second time doing sur surgery. Yep. Yeah, it was horrible. I wanted to die. I'm just like, kill me now. Kill me now. This is so worse than what I was feeling earlier. Uh, but can I have a, like a bag of what the heck you made me knock out within three minutes? Because that will work when I have to go to sleep at night. Spending like an hour of wake. Ugh. Yeah. Oh, in case you guys missed the first video. Starting February... Sorry, February 2nd and 3rd. Um, I'll be posting video game videos. Um, I don't know why I was going with that. Um, but yeah, February 3rd and 2nd and 3rd, I'll be posting video game videos. Alright, my monsters. I am Sam Sammy. I'm even new to my channel. Join the monster family hitting the red subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.